Hi, welcome back to the Liddy Trends channel and I got some more videos today we got to talk about and make sure you watch to the end because the last video is pretty crazy but before we get started just make sure you smash that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel so in this first clip we got some passengers on the flight and at least in the US they've been telling us you know you have to wear a mask at all times while you on the plane which is fine but I guess this lady got caught trying to take it off and the pilot had a few words to say y'all check out the clip and let me know what you think the map. There is not an eye roll that you can give me that I haven't seen 750,000 times in the last year. I know you don't like them. I don't like them either. We have to wear them. It's a rule. It's not a political statement. It's not me taking your rights away. It's not me exerting my will on you, etc., etc. All the rhetoric that I hear, I don't want to hear it anymore. I get it. It's just a rule. And if we don't have rules, we have anarchy. So let's just go with the one hour and 43 minutes of masks and you can now I promise y'all it wasn't me who ended the clip early, this is just how I found it, but let's move on to the next clip. So this lady ends up going to a pizza place where she gets into it with one of the employees who's 17, and I guess this lady felt like she could talk down on him, but I mean he really wasn't having it. And I could relate since I dealt with my share of cans while I was working at 17, but y'all check out the clip and let me know what you think. Only at Seaside. I noticed she stuck around even after getting her money back, but okay. Now this clip is some silverback gorillas, I believe, observing a caterpillar. I mean, this just seemed interesting to me, the way they seem so interested. There's no sound in this video, so I might as well explain the next crazy clip you're about to see. So now in this next clip, we got an employee from Wendy's, and I guess she was sick and tired of her manager talking to her crazy or disrespectful. I mean, if I get talked to with this type of disrespect for minimum wage, I would flip out and lose my job right then and there. So after she sent the video of the chain of command, or whatever and wrote a statement this is what happened clean it means the fucking clean bitch whoa whoa i got you on camera mike and you're a i got you on camera mike guess what mike that's the end of the road mike no it's not yes it is no it's not that's I'm the last time yep yeah. oh. look how disrespectful he is I i'm gonna send this video to lisa i'm sorry lisa but this is how your other managers treat me. What have you done since we closed? Ooh, Absolutely ooh, ooh, ooh. fucking nothing. Absolutely cleaned out the first frosty machine and I wasn't done. Actually, I wasn't. Jarrell did not. Jarrell, did you clean up that frosty machine? You drained it. No. For him. No. No. That wasn't the case. That's why you yeah, should okay. mind your own business. It's still not clean. It's not clean because I wasn't finished. Like I just said. Sorry and stuff. I prayed for you. All right, y'all. So my boss called me to the office after I got the statement in or whatever. I just got suspended pending an investigation. Mind you, they did not suspend this man yet, right? He came into work, did his job. They told me that they might not be able to pay me during the whole suspension. He said, I asked. They said they might not be able to do that. And they're just going to pay you for the work that you did. That's fine with me. Hope you guys enjoy your day. I'm going to enjoy mine. Thank you. 
This guy does some street interviews in New York and things go left real quick, but it was pretty funny. Who are you? I'm Billy Eichner. And, okay, all right, so, and is this like TV or? Yeah, this is like television, yeah. What television? Like Billy on the street. Oh, okay. So are you an internet thing? Uh, no, it's actually a TV thing and an internet thing. I don't like your attitude. Okay, I don't like right? yours. I'm on TV. Who, who gives a shit? Who gives a shit about you, bitch? Alright, so in this next clip, I'm not sure what happened before they started recording, but this lady decided to not let this person leave by blocking their car by standing behind it. I mean, this is pretty much being held hostage. It gets to the point that people around her are telling her to move, and the guy recording her is roasting her not having a neck non-stop. I mean, what would you do if this lady stopped you from leaving? Let me know down in the comment section. I let that man leave, man. You got that man blocked in over there. Look, man, that's crazy. That's crazy. Man, you have more important things to worry about. Like, man, you have more important things to worry about. You have to get you a neck, man. You have to go get you a neck. You have no neck, man. You got to go get you a neck. You out here being racist and you don't even have a neck, man. You got to get you a neck. You hear me? Ma'am, ma'am, I know what they said, Nick said. You go on Amazon right now, they got Nick's for $27. You get you a whole Nick. You just put it on your shoulders. You put it on your shoulders and you good, ma'am. Okay? Come on your part. I'm not moving. Uh-oh. Yeah, about to get real. Yeah, I'm about to get real. It's about to get real. And man, with some shoes like that, this is not what you want. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. My part, come move your car. Uh-oh. Come move your car. Uh-oh. They about to tussle. They about to tussle. There she go. She caught her fat. She ca I know you ain't going. Uh-oh. There they go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There you go. That's how you stand up for our brothers and sisters. Man, you got to go get you a nick now. Go get you a nick. Just go on Amazon, man. Get you a nick. Are you a real... That's what I'm talking about. Look at her. Now she ain't got nothing to do. Ma'am. You just wasted all your time in your life, and you still ain't got no neck. You still ain't got no neck, and you wasted all your time. So this next clip is just a cool video of a big truck racing a plane. I mean, imagine how much quicker your Amazon packages would arrive. Alright, so before we get to the last clip, check out this waterfall in Hawaii. Basically, the winds are so strong that they push the water right back up. I mean, I wonder if you fall down this waterfall, if it'll do the same to a human and just throw them right back up and save your life. Alright, so let me know down in the comment section if you've ever seen anything like this before because i never seen the end of a rainbow. So in this video, we get to see that, but also it's a very different type of rainbow because i never seen one this small. Alright, so you know I always mention that the worst place to act up is at an airport or an airplane. So this 22 year old just started losing his mind on the plane by first messing with the female flight attendants and touching them. And then going off on passengers on the Frontier flight. I mean, this is why I avoid Frontier and Spirit if I can. But you know it's bad and embarrassing when people have to resort to these crazy measures. At this point, this guy should just be on a no-fly list. But y'all check out the clip and let me know what you think. This video really jaw dropping Nicole and Calvin things getting so out of hand in the air. This man is duct taped to his seat tonight. We're hearing from the man who shot the video. This shot. According to Miami Dade police, the angry passenger is 22 year old Maxwell Barry. He's now facing three counts of battery when things turn physical in the air. He came up from behind and put his arms around both of them and groped their breasts again to get aggressive and then basically attack the male.
monthly attendance. But that wasn't all. Riviera also recorded this. <laughs> Barry being taped to his seat. Help! Have you ever seen someone get taped up like that in a plane? <laughs> no. Riviera says Barry eventually calmed down shortly before the plane landed in Miami. We emailed Frontier Airlines for comment on the situation. They responded in part, the flight attendants will be as required in such circumstances, relieved of flying pending completion of investigation of the events. I did, did give Barry a call, but he couldn't be reached for comment. That police report also says Barry had several drinks on that flight. But now we're live at Miami International Airport. Alright, so that's about it for today. So uh, make sure you share the video if you enjoy any of those clips. And let me know down in the comment section which one was your favorite and what would you do in those situations. Also, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I got more videos coming soon. And um, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it at that. And we out.